Hello everybody. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Few months ago, I made a video about, how to interface SSD 1306, 128 by 64, OLED display with STM32. That video only covered the interfacing part, and some basic text display. Today in this video, we will use, some advanced display functions, in SSD 1306. I have modified the previous library. And now, we can display, lines, shapes, bitmaps, and also animations. You can also scroll text, and bitmaps on the screen, in different directions. I am starting my setup with CubeMX. I am using my usual F103 controller. Make sure you use the fast mode, at 400 kHz. Let's copy some library related files, in the project. Now, we need to include all those header files, that we copied. Let's just quickly build it once. Ok, let's see the list of functions, available for the programming. We will start by, initializing the display. Let me just print some string on the display. And it is the usual one, hello, world. You have to write, update screen function, every time you want something, to display on the screen. I want to keep this text for 2 seconds, and that explains the delay in the end. Let's check the list of functions again. We have scroll functions, to right and left, along with diagonal scrolling, and then, there is, stop scroll. We can also invert the display, or display bitmap. Let's start with scrolling the screen. I am going to scroll the text above. As you can see, this function takes two parameters. The first one is the row, where you want the scroll to start. The second one is the end row. Well, basically these are not the rows. These are the pages. This display have seven pages. You can scroll however you want. As I want to scroll the entire screen, start page will be zero, and the end page will be seven. Providing delay, will keep the scrolling, for that amount of time. You should stop the scroll, or else, the screen will keep scrolling. Let's draw some bitmap now. I have this image right here, which I want to display on the screen. I am using GIMP to modify the image. It's free and open source, and it's good. First thing we need to do is, resize the image to 128 by 64. Next, we need to change the color index to, 1 bit, black and white only. And now, we can export this image as a bitmap image, with BMP extension.
Next, I am using LCD assistance, to convert it to the hex format. You can google it. It's easily available for download. Make sure, that the byte orientation is horizontal, and, the size endianness is big. After this, just save the file, and you will get your hex code. I am creating another file in the project, where I can store my bitmaps, and, I will name it bitmap itself. Just include it in the project, and we are good to go. Draw bitmap takes six parameters. The first two are the, X and Y coordinates, where you want to start the draw from. Next is the pointer to the array. Then, the size of the image, and at last the color, it will remain one in our case. We still need to update the display, to print the image on the screen. I am going to keep the image for some time, and then, scroll the image in different directions. Note that, there is some delay after every scroll. Like I mentioned before, we need to give some delay, or else, we won't be able to see it scrolling. And at last, I am going to invert the display, and then, normalize it again. Let's compile the code, and download it to the controller, to see the results. As you can see, the text scrolling, the bitmap scrolling, and the invert display functions, are working properly. Now, let's see, how to display any animation on the screen. I have this horse running GIF here. You can just google them, they are available to download for free. Open it with GIMP. Look at the right side, we have 10 different frames for this animation. First thing we need to do is, scale our image to 128 by 64. And then, we need to change the color index to, 1 bit, black and white. Look at the picture. If I show each frame, one by one, you can actually see the animation. Next. We need to hide all other frames, and keep the first one. Then, export it to the BMP extension. Just like, we did in the bitmap. Then, open the LCD assistance, and convert it to the hex code. I will create another file, where I can keep this animation, and, I am naming it as, horseanime.h. Go back to GIMP now, and delete the first frame, unhide the second frame, and repeat the same steps.
You have to do this for all 10 frames. Now, it's time to display this animation, on our screen. First, we need to include the file, we created, in our project. Next, in the while loop, clear the screen, draw the bitmap of the first frame, and update the screen. Repeat these steps for all other frames too. Let's compile, download, and run. Yeah, so the horse is running good. I am only displaying the animation part here. Rest is usual. I also ported some tests for the screen. If you open the test.c file, you will see the list of tests, we can perform. These includes, lines, rectangles, circles and triangles. Let's write them all. They all take, color, as the only parameter, except circles. It takes two parameters, one is radius, and other is color. Let's test them now. Everything works great. Hope you liked the video. Leave comments, if you have any doubt. You can download the code, from the link in the description. Have a nice day.